Human mobility and activity slowed down after the coronavirus outbreak giving Mother Earth a break. But experts said the pandemic has worsened pollution and continued to endanger the world. As people stayed at their homes, new businesses blossomed driven by online shopping and food delivery but created a new problem, plastics. Plastic packaging, face masks and face shields are choking river systems and the seas worse than pre-pandemic levels. The number of ratio multiplied by the number of population in a city. Puso pa ngayon ang mga delivery online. It was it. The government appeared not worried about the plastic problems and climate change, allocating only 165 million pesos for the Climate Change Commission's budget for this year. Experts question the government's commitment to cut down carbon emission to help achieve global target. Final disposal loan. Knowing na yung, yung Pilipinas or yung, yung ilang Asian countries, siya yung lagi nakafront dun sa maraming bagyo. Environment experts advise the government to prepare for another Yolanda-like typhoon and take measures to live up to its Paris 2015 commitment to limit global warming below 2 degrees Celsius before it's too late. Maganda na magkaroon ng national yung comprehensive ban on plastic on single-use plastic. Pero hindi kasi clean up lang yung solution. We, have, we need systemic change. Let's accept the fact that climate change is here and we cannot reverse anymore the environmental effects of it. What we can only do now is to slow down its impact. The question is, do you have enough programs and policies to address climate change? I am Stanley Gatti and we are One News.